Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Star Flames. In this video, we're gonna talk about Kylie Jenner. So too are we gonna talk about Travis Scott. Now ain't that something? Now we've been seeing Kylie Jenner trying to get her groove back, it seems. This girl has been talking about, you know, her hair journey, and she's just talking about summer doing the most flaunting it but travis scott seems to be very pre preoccupied with with his own personal affairs now we've heard since recently that travis and kylie are co-parenting together and they're being cordial towards each other but there's something saying there's a fire deep down inside of kylie that knows that at this point Travis Scott is the only man that will put up with her ass. You know, like how Ye used to be the only guy that would put up with Kim and her shenanigans. Now that Ye is gone, Kim world is upside down. She cannot find gravity. Yeah, like that. That's what is happening to Kylie at this point. But Kylie is pretty young. She can pivot in any damn direction and make it work for her. Kim Kardashian, mm, not so much. And it's not because of her hair. It's not because of just her age. It's just that Kim's, you know, track record is really, really not looking pleasant at this point. Now, um, let's talk a little bit about what is going on with Travis. Then we're going to talk about Travis and Kylie. And is there any hope for the two having a relationship in the future? So let's get into it. Now, a few days ago, we heard that Travis Scott might be charged for the Astro World incident that took place, um, wherein 10 people have lost their lives. Now, 10 people losing their life at a show that is catastrophic. And we know that the family and friends of those 10 victims will never get over that. They have trauma therapy and everything still going through you can't even begin to imagine what their world is like unless you've been through something like that and i do believe in accountability but at the same time do i believe that there should be charges filed against travis scott no should he be fined like hell yes he should be fined so when you find these artists and you hold them accountable for these strategies um Tra tragedy <laughs> what will happen is that they will ensure that all the you know i's are being dotted the t's are being crossed because we can tell that based on clips travis scott realized or suspected that something was going on in the crowd but he wasn't all that sure because he shot he, he, he basically paused three different times in the show and their clips proving that so i really don't believe in the conspiracy theories that oh my god Tr travis scott sacrificed these people yes we are living a, in a very serious time where you know people do really horrible evil stuff but at the same time i really don't like the direction that we're moving in there's more talks about the devil and his power and his works and there's less talk about the creator um however you may refer to your creator we need to talk about the creator more because guess what he creates all things and i believe that accidents do happen and i believe that sometimes it happens because of people who fell short of doing a good job of doing their job like what happened at these venues they overbooked these venues just to make money without thinking about the patrons they see people as cold statistic so let's make some money off these numbers that's all many of these promoters look at people as they really don't care about their lives so when people said that beyonce's tickets were really expensive i was like after everything that has been going on at these shows you're asking for a cheaper ticket there ain't no way you could be asking for a cheaper ticket because Beyonce has done her homework. She realized that there's a problem. So guess what? She's going to ensure that she hires more people on her team. She's going to ensure that everything is checked down to the T. Everything is, is, is in order. The necessary emergency team is there and more than enough is there. She's going to ensure that the venues are also not overbooked. I would rather to see celebrities 
overcharging for the tickets rather than overbooking a venue because when you overcharge you know the these shows aren't a, necess a, a necessity food clothing and shelter is while i understand it is good to have um, entertainment entertainment is an important part of our life it is still not primary so you can choose your poison you can pick your struggle do you want to go to the show or do you rather stay home pay your cable bill and watch some cable that's what i believe but let's talk about travis scott because they're saying that the decision by the harris county district attorney confirms what his people have known all along that Travis Scott is not responsible for the asteroid tragedy. Now, this is consistent with investigative reporting by numerous media outlets and federal and state government reports that have squarely placed the onus for events safety crisis on organizers, operators, and contractors, not performers, because Travis Scott wasn't the only performer at Astroworld. It's just that the tragedy took place while he was on stage. That's what they believe, because, you know, based on what they investigated, that's what they have observed. So here we are saying, you know what? They're saying that um, investigation have proven that, you know, Travis Scott did not do anything he was just on stage doing his gig however the organizers the operators the contractors they fell short in their obligation so we know that chances are there may even be more lawsuits there are already lawsuits and travis scott i think it was over a billion dollars um i don't know if travis scott will be dragged into any further lawsuits i honestly hope not but what i hate is the fact that um, Kylie Jenner still keeps using this Astroworld theme for Stormy's birthday. No, I understand that Kylie initially created that Astroworld theme, but after you see 10 people losing their life, do you go ahead and, you know, act as though you don't care, act as though, you know, your frontal lobe hasn't developed and say, you know what, I'm still going to use my theme. I created it, so I'm going to use it. I don't think um, it's a big deal. You have to care about people. Sometimes you have to stop, think, put yourself in the next person's shoe. You created the Astroworld theme, true, respectfully. But if you wanted to keep that theme, you could have done so in another beautiful way, like have an annual memorial for the 10 victims that have lost their lives, raise some money, donate it to the various charities, and while money cannot replace life, I mean, you extended some kind of courtesy to these people, family will show that, you know what, your loved ones aren't forgotten. They're gone, but we still remember them. And if we could take back that moment, we would. So I believe that Kylie needs to cut out using that Astro World theme. She used it at Stormy's um, last party when she has stormy world it is derived from astro world but she is the original creator of it all right based on what i'm understanding now um i know that some people will still not be happy with the outcome of this because people love to spew the conspiracy theory is a black man you know and some people may say oh but color doesn't have anything to do with it people died at ariana grande's concert um who glorilla and the list goes on so if travis scott was charged and um, in this case what they would do is to lay the foundation for every other events that people have lost their lives tragically they would lay the foundation for all those you know other artists and entertainers to be possibly charged even though it has happened many many years ago so i do believe that the right thing is being done in this case now now that this case is we have to say somewhat behind travis scott because honestly i believe that it's not entirely behind him is there any hope for travis and miss kylie jenner to get back together i believe that there is a little ray of hope because so far what we're seeing is that kylie is not messy 
Like, we know that Kim is the messy one when it comes to her baby daddy. She she loves to just be doing the most on the internet. Um, when you look at Chloe, Chloe is still heartbroken. She used to throw, you know, s subtle shades here and there. But Kylie is keeping it really cute, really clean when it comes to her family affairs. And for a girl that is so young, I have to say kudos to Kylie for being so mature in this case. She's not calling out Travis. She's not throwing shades at him. She's sending him subliminals, <laughs> yes, but those are sexy photos, etc. So you can understand because, hey, girls will always be girls. And if you got it, why not the hell flaunt it? But... I do believe that on the basis that we're not seeing the mess in the public, I believe that Travis Scott will appreciate that. We're not getting mess from Travis, you know, to Kylie. Travis is not talking about Kylie, is not throwing shades at her. It's as though they never existed. <laughs> it's as though they never existed. It seems as though they had like a hoops baby and Kylie was like, you know what? I want to give Stormy a sibling. Are you down to have another child with me? I don't care if you're around. That is what their relationship gives. But these little weird, funny, funky relationship, they can often develop and grow into something big, powerful, well-structured, and amazing. So don't count Travis and Kylie out as yet because chances are there might be a little fire there that you nor I or even them may see brewing at this point. But only time will truly reveal what the master have in store for these two but i want to hear from you guys let me know what your thoughts are and see you all next time bye guys